This is homework help for algebra readiness. Your homework this evening is out of your week 14 packets, uh, page number 11. I'd like you, I'd like to help you with problem number 9 as we're practicing how to multiply numbers using decimals. Um, we said in class we need to ignore the decimal point and multiply as you normally would. So you could use any method you want uh, as we discussed in class or you can use the traditional method, traditional algorithm. Um, in that case you're going to multiply this first one by every number up on the top. So the top is our top factor, the bottom is our second factor, and we're starting off with the number far most to the right, so 1 times 3 is 3. We move to the next number is 2, 1 times 2 is 2. The next number, 1 times 1 is 1. Then 1 times 5 is 5. And then 1 times 1 is 1. We need to repeat the same exact process, but now we're going to be multiplying by this second digit over. We'll need a zero placeholder. Make sure things get lined up. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. And 1 times 1 is 1. Now we go through and we add these numbers together. 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 2 plus 1 is 3. 5 plus 1 is 6, 1 plus 5 is 6, and 1 has nothing to add to it. We're not quite done yet, though. You'll notice here this top factor has three numbers past the decimal point. There's 1, 2, and 3. You'll also notice this second factor has two numbers past the decimal point. There's 1, there's 2. So we need to conserve those. We have five decimal places we'll need to use in our answer. It's only fair. We started off with them. We'll need to continue with them. They don't just disappear. So we start off with our decimal point. We move it one, two, three, four, and five spaces. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that. We've got a one, a decimal, six, six, three, five, three. That gives us our final answer for this problem.